So today I want to tell you about a mindset shift around cleaning and organizing my home that changed my life and that I hope will change your life too. First, a quick story about me. So for the last 10 years or so, I've worked six or seven days a week, 60 to 65 hours a week at my day job. And I found that I would come home after work every single day feeling exhausted and like I never had the time or energy to clean. But I found that that scarcity mindset around the inability to clean my house was keeping me stuck and keeping me from getting the beautiful clean home that I deserved. After I experienced this mindset shift around keeping my house clean and organized, I find that I have almost no trouble keeping it clean. And in fact, I enjoy cleaning my house. Are you ready for this mindset shift? Here it is. You have to start thinking of cleaning and organizing your house as a form of self-care. That sounds totally crazy, right? Look, I get it. But just stick with me for a second here. The thing is, you deserve a clean, organized, beautiful house. And the only person that's going to give that to you is you. And like so many other things in life that we want, you have to put in the work to get what you deserve. So how exactly is keeping your house clean and organized a form of self-care? It's simple. When your house is messy and disorganized, it overwhelms you and it leaves you feeling defeated and even ashamed to have guests in your house. That's all the more reason to get up and clean. By cleaning and organizing your house, you're actually eliminating stress on yourself. You're stepping up to the plate and honoring your own wishes to get the clean, organized house that you deserve. You're telling messes and clutter that they don't get a vote in how you feel about yourself and your home. Basically, you're putting in the work now to improve the quality of your life in the future. Now, look, I'm not saying that this mindset shift is going to cause you to feel like you're running through meadows, singing the sound of music at the top of your lungs every time you clean your house. Cleaning your house still sucks. <laughs> but when you shift your mindset and tell yourself that you're cleaning and organizing as a gift to yourself, it will become easier. To sum it up, look, I get it. Cleaning and organizing your house sucks. But if you flip the script and see cleaning and organizing as things that you do as gifts to yourself, you'll give yourself the kind of home environment you deserve. You'll also eliminate stress for yourself in the future. And you can also be proud of your home when guests stop by unexpectedly. And you might even be more motivated to keep things clean. And as a result, it'll feel less like a bunch of chores and more like progress toward a goal that's near and dear to your heart. So this is what I'm going to do. I challenge you to try this mindset for just a week, cleaning and organizing as a form of self-care. Try it and see how motivated you feel to do just a little bit of cleaning each day. Then meet me back here and let me know in the comments how it went for you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on my website, www.showmesuburban.com. Bye. We'll see you later.